welcome to my youtube channel so i'm just about to start doing my hair i'm going to do um fashion twist with this hair called cherish in bohemian bread conditioner so today i've already already put this in these are the only two products that i normally use in my hair as a leave -in. this wash cough Pro Styler Hair Wax is very nice in terms of keeping your hair nice and slick. So, for example, look. See how nice it goes? Oh, just makes your hair so nice and soft. Which is very nice because this is nice and slick. Finish with the first braid. I'm just going to go off the camera now to just braid all of the hair and I'll be back once I finish and then we can start. Hello, welcome back. So this is my hair. I went off camera and braid them. That's the hair I'm going to be using. So this is the hair that I'm going to be using. And let's see. Now that I finished braiding the hair, I've got six packs. Uh, comes like one, one long strand. The seams is so these are my input make sure let's see how it would look once we've start twisting i was kind of torn between um doing four locks but i think i like a braid um a twist more is up out of the way Put into the large clothes and then pull it through. Very easy. The hair is safe, so it's not as long as it's twisted. The hair. Okay, so I went off camera and I took the hair because I wasn't, I didn't like that. So I've changed my mind. I'm going to actually do a full lock. So I'm going to add a little bit of um, an expression hair. I just want a little because I don't really want the hair to be thick or anything. So I'm just going to get my hair. I'm going to just use just three strands of hair only. This is the Bohemian Pearl Hair, which I'm using just three strands. Yes. I'm going to fluff it off. Up so. I don't want it to be too thick as well. Is the hair all fluff up? And we we'll use just a tiny strand of expression as well. So first of all, I'm going to crochet in the expression hair. Okay. It's just to. Give it a little bit of texture. The expression here is in. I'm going to put in the Bohemian curl. I'm going to use. Oh. 
We put the head properly. This is the hair. So I'm going to make the bit. So this is a bit I'm going to use to wrap the hair. This is it. So I'll wrap that way around. And it is tight now. And I'm going to just start wrapping it downwards. Just hold on tight to the one. Man, I would say doing this four locks it reminds me of a particular hair we do in Nigeria called um, thread threading. You, you kind of wrap it like that. But only just with this time you're using another hair extension to wrap it. I'm looking down because I've got a mirror here and just using my mirror as a guide. Just the cool nice. Almost there. It's just got tangled on my wrist, so I'm just detangling it so I want it a bit longer. So I just continue wrapping and holding on. I just want it just down there. As we're reaching the end, just the little tip that was left and I just wrap it in the hole. Now wrap this back up. Don't normally use the nail glue like some people do, but if you do want to use that, that's still okay. I just wrap it up on itself. So you see, there's a the hair all done. So good. Just right, right there, right to my waist. So I've got just the right perfect length for my hair. So I think four locks it is. That's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. 
most some people part the hair as they go um to keep but I part mine as I mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. I'm going to use this to hold onto the hair. That is my hair going in there. I was just in the room. I know some people prefer to put the curly hair in and use the expression to wrap, but I prefer to use the curly hair to wrap and put the extra expression in the roots. Is a bit tangly on my hand. I'm going to try to tangle that first. Okay. I'm just looking down on the mirror. to wrap the hair. Just remember to wrap on tight. If you meet any spot, it's okay to just wrap back up and Cover the spot. I'm getting to the bottom part. The hair is just again. I'm just fluffing out the hair again because it was getting a bit thin compared to when I first start at the top. I'm going to go beyond my waist there. Okay, this is where I have stopped. So I'm just going to wrap the leftover hair. So I just leave the wrapping hair and hold the tip of the one and then just wrap this upwards. This 
it's okay if there are any loose ends left that is okay because you still got the hair at the end to use and wrap it up So don't like that and just wrap it. Let's see. This is all done. Perfect. And this one seems like it's unraveled. Put in a large closet. Uh, roll it like that and then just put it on the large and close the hook and then just just wrap out our hair so um, there's a length on it at the front that's it so the first of the Three strands. Separate it into three. Another one. This one fell out. We're going to just push it up as it goes in there. Perfect. Can you see? Just separate the expression on my hair on the tip of the hair that I'm going to use. And this one at the end. So you see how long it is? Then you could just then you just start wrapping. I mean, this is one of the easiest, he easiest hair to do. Just by wrapping the hair, and that is it, and just holding on firm. Okay, just want to make sure it's the right length. I should wrap, you could turn it like I turn it, and I just do that. And it's never unravel, really. Is there? And there it is. All done. Perfect. So I just I like the way it looks. So I'm just going to start wrapping the back. So I'm going to start doing the back now. Oh. <laughs> I'm a little bit clumsy sometimes when I'm doing my hair, so yeah, just push it at me. Mm 
be cute. Yeah, just let me make. I'm gonna separate my three strands. First strand done. Right here, you can see there. Is it all done? Mm. Mm. Now, when I finish, I may extend the length of the hair, but for now, this is the length I want. Just like I said, you can use more than three strands. I just use three because I don't want the hair to be too thick on my hair. Just hold on. Go over here. So, over here. Yes. Just wrapping it. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, if you do run out of the wrapping here, you could just add and continue. Yes, so. Just add that. You need to add it that way. You need to start using this one. I'm just going to go off camera and finish wrapping it. See you in a bit. Hello, good morning. So I'm back with my hair. So this is the hair. I went off camera and I did almost everything. Um, this is the next day because of my two year old I could not finish. So I've just got this uh, four left. So I'm just going to do this four for you to see. And adjust it too, and it doesn't matter if it's messy because since you want to have like the kind of distressed look, 
to it then that's okay I want my knit at the beginning and the distress look as we go towards the end. in the distress look and the beautiful thing is with this hair it just make the loops as you go Just all about wrapping and wrapping and wrapping the hair. So far, I've done the hair for five hours because um, I had to stop because all of a sudden my two-year-old was in love with me yesterday, so he wanted me to feed him. So because I ran out of the wrapping hair, I just finished and I'm. Just twist I'm going to add some more hair to it. So he was in love with me. He wanted me to give him his dinner. He wanted me to give him a bath and put him in bed. So if not, I probably would have finished it yesterday. That's why we're finishing it this morning. I would say as because I'm having mine very long, as you're wrapping towards the end. Um, it can be a bit difficult. I mean, you could use a pin to like pin it up, like on your scar. But um, my hair clip actually, sorry, clip um, hurts in my head, so I just figure I could do it this way without using the clip, and I can still wrap. So, as you can see, just this is it and look I've wrapped I've wrapped it where I want I like it to be the length so to Close the bottom. All you need to do is so I've wrapped till almost the end, so that is how it looks. So if you just hold on to the wrapping here like that. And then the hair that was in, we just literally bend it up that way. So, you see what I'm doing? Just literally bend it up. And then just, see? And then just wrap it upwards. You see, I'm just wrapping it upwards. For well, mine, it doesn't matter that the color is different because I do have some that have the red at the end so which is perfectly okay you see the wrapping here is still dangling then you just wrap that over it just think of this here like there's this 
African head at school threading. This is how you do threading. Although with the threading usually there are no distress look, they always smooth all the way. So that is it. Perfect, nice distress look. All done. Our first one. We do this one. That is my hair as I'm coming to the end. Just crochet it out. The hair in. Pull. Adjust to the length of your choice. Just that. Then I got my three strands. So we need to see, pull the hair back and put the pin through, hook and pull the hair in and pull this one. Just wrap. They hold your hand so when you put see you just hold wrap put think of it like that is the hair I was wrapping on just just pull that up like that and then wrap and then let go of the initial wrapping hair just wrap this upwards just to secure the lock and make sure it doesn't unravel so now that I've done that bit now the wrapping hair you wrap it upwards as well Hold it with your finger. We're just going to do these two on the side. That's it. We're almost done. So the same way, put the lodge through, put the hair in, close the hook, and pull. But it's okay. Now I can do the more chunk here. This is a hair all separated. And we just crochet this in the same way. Put, pull. Put, pull. And then hold that it and then just wrap. Having to do much to it at that particular point. I don't want to put mm -hmm, so I'm just wrapping it. Do my one like the end to be. So you see, as a wrapping hair, just pull that up and then wrap. Upwards. When I will finish, then just the wrapping hair that was in the same way. 
three, four weeks, or even a month in advance. And sometimes when I find when other people have done my hair, they haven't done it the way I would like it. So I just prefer doing my hair by myself. That way I know I'm doing what I want. Done that. And last, your hair. So when once the hair is in the hook properly, there should be no tension. Oh, it didn't even go through. There should be no tension pulling it through. So, that is it. Put the hair. And always make sure the latch is closed first before you pull the hair through. And that is it. Oh, oh. Then adjust to the length. Oh, so this is the hair that you'll be wrapping on. This is the wrapping hair. Ah. It's wrapping nicely. at the moment six hours seven minutes to do this because i had the break yesterday i'm just wrapping it up because i could see the hair under and i just wrap it back down and that gives it not a distressed look i'm just wrapping the hair up again because the wrapping here is finished. So, it is done. I'm almost done just wrapping down to the tip to where I would like the end to be, the length to be. I'm just going to Put more of the gel. I'm just going to tie the edges. The finished look once the accessories is on. So see you in a bit. So this is the finished look. I finished the hair and I put some beads in. The style that's the hair on the back that's it from the side I'm really really loving it that's the hair so I'm going to wear it down for now so that's the middle bit. I'm just going to wear it like this for a while. So. Like this. So if you love my hair and like the outcome, please subscribe. So in the end, I used the whole six pack of this hair for wrapping the cherish and i was going to use only four or five but i'm using the whole of the six pack i really love it the hair is not heavy it's actually very very light so let's see and thank you so much for watching if you do like my video please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos speak to you soon take care bye